people of the internet and welcome to this next video in my rare replay month. Uh, today we move on to Perfect Dark. Um, I actually am skipping over Banjo Kazooie and Jet Force Gemini. Reason is, um, I went back in the beginning of the month, the first couple days before they released the game, I went back and played a couple of the games just so I can kind of keep up so we can get one video out every day this month showing a little bit of each of the games in the rare replay. So, last time we did Blast Core, I'm gonna go ahead and skip over these and we are on to Perfect Dark then. I played a lot of this uh, back when it was released. Uh, me and a couple friends used to play it a lot. I wasn't as good at uh, the GoldenEye game, which isn't on here because I think Nintendo still owns the rights to the GoldenEye uh, name and everything. Um, so I, I, I wasn't very good at GoldenEye, but I was pretty good at this, which is weird because it's the same kind of control scheme, really. Um, I just think maybe because I, I played this more. But um, this is actually the port of the, uh, the Xbox 360 version when they released it on the arcade. Uh, so now pretty much all of the like the uh, the newer games here are all going to be like the 360 or the Xbox One. Well, no, they're not actually Xbox One versions, but as you can see, this is the Xbox 360 version. Essentially, what it is is just the arcade game ported onto the disc, um, and then actually downloaded from the internet. Actually, um, it had to do this update to get the arcade game. So that's all it really essentially is. It's playing backwards compatibility through the through the system. Well, let's get right to it. We'll do the first couple levels, maybe, and see what we got. Let's get right on to uh, some solo missions. Datadyne. We're going to just do... We'll just do Agent for now. Uh, it's cool, though, if you've ever played this or the Goldeneye, uh, if you play on different uh, difficulties, they're going to have different uh, objectives to do. So that's kind of cool. It not only makes the game harder, but it makes it... Uh, a little bit more replayability wise because instead of just making it harder like it does with other games there's other objectives you have to do so that was a really cool thing that they integrated into this but we're just going to go ahead and do agent for now it does look nice I recently I did a stream of this um, uh, recently I did a stream of this over on Twitch about a week and a half ago or so, and that was on the actual 360 version. Um, okay. um, and it looked pretty good, but this actually looks just a little bit better, even though it's pretty much just the 360 version. I think it's nice. Uh, it upconverts it, I think, just a little bit because it's on the Xbox One. I could be wrong, and I could make my sound self sound like an idiot, but... Uh, it just looks nice. From recently playing it on the 360, as compared to it here, it looks a little bit, you know, a little bit different and a little bit better. But we're gonna get right to it. We're gonna skip over. And that's very sensitive. Let me change that real quick. Okay, well, let's do this here. I get the gun? Yeah, there we go. CMP-150. Let's do this. Hey. You got right there. Yep. It does help the fact that I just played this recently um, to kind of know a little bit more, because on my playthrough, I hadn't played this game in a while before I, I did the uh, the stream of it on Twitch. Um, and I made myself look a little foolish, which I tend to do all the time anyways. Um... <laughs> But, uh, oh sweet. That's your first headshot. You've been awarded your first Avatar award. Um, so, yeah, I made myself look a little foolish, especially in the next level, because I was thinking you had to do something that you, uh, you didn't have to do. So I was wandering around aimlessly doing nothing. And because it's uneasy, of course, these guys are going to probably miss me a lot, but, um, we're just taking a quick look at the game is all, really. I'm not going to do anything too involved as far as playing it through a lot, or really just wanted to take a look to kind of see what the game's like. If you've never played this game or don't really know what it is, this is all I'm really doing with these rare replays, is just giving you a chance to see what these games were, you know, if you're not familiar with them. Oh wow, I didn't know you could shoot through that. We'll just go around and get all these guys. Even though I don't need to, I could just go down to the bottom level if I really wanted to. 
you don't have to worry about the 360 or the uh, you know the uh, N64 controllers. Uh, those were really hard to play first-person shooters with because it was different than normal. Whereas nowadays the there it is. Uh, you know, the left stick is strafe and move forward and back, and the right stick is turn and aim, you know, look up and down. On the N64 controllers, they were different, where it was the opposite, where you would have the thumbstick would be move forward and back and turn, and then the thumbstick would be look up and down and strafe. And those would be kind of annoying. So, the fact that they uh, re-released these, uh, you know, or re-released this uh, a few years ago on the 360 uh, made it so much easier to play the game and a little bit more enjoyable. Holy cow. You know what? Let's have some fun with these guys. Oh, well, <laughs> they're already all dead. Oh well, let's just go to the elevator and we'll end this first level. I used to be headshot master in this game, too. Master, but I was pretty good. I always thought myself to be pretty good at this game. There we go. There we go. Completed. Four minutes, twenty-seven seconds. We've got a cheat. And the cheats were always good in these rare games, even with a double of seven. Uh, the cheats were always pretty good with like big head mode and paintball and different things. So, do the uh, the next mission here: holograph the radioactive isotope and locate Doctor Carol. Let's do this. Attention. Huh? Never understood how he couldn't see her. What? I mean, it's not like she had that much room to hide up there, but... Oh well, let's get going. It's a little dark in this level, I know, so... I'm sorry if you can't quite see it, but, uh... It's nice though because the flashing of the uh, the gunshots adds to the uh, ambiance of the level, I guess you could say. And I think we get one of the big uh, machine guns in this level as well here. Everybody. Oh, God. Why me? Why me? Yeah, you know what? I'm because we have it on easy. I'm going to turn off the whole uh, auto-aim, because it is kind of a, not really a cheat, but it does make it a little bit easier having the auto-aim. Uh, I need to use the cam spy. Take pictures of that. And he's shooting me, I need to, come on. There we go. What are you waiting for? You could have easily killed me. Oh, wait, I've got the uh, CMP-150, so let's use that. Alright, buddy. And it is a little bit easier to get headshots then this way, because you don't have the auto-aim on. I can just stay at this kind of height, and just go through, and get headshots. It's still uneasy, so they're not really hurting me very much. But, oh well. Can I go down this one? Yeah, this is the one where you go down and get the, uh... He's got the laptop gun, or is it the K7? Yeah, it's the K7 Avenger. It's got the big zoom on it here. Ooh, sorry. That's locked. All right, so we gotta do it this way. Oh, this is where the lasers are. This, this little thing is. Uh... I want to get through because that guy's. Okay. So if you follow this little thing, that was good timing, actually. This thing uh, takes these lasers down so you can walk through because you got to go this way anyways. That was pretty good timing. Get her. All right, this is where I made myself look like an idiot. Um, in this part, you're supposed... I thought you had to get this key card. And I think I'm... I think I was thinking back then when I did play this originally uh, a couple weeks ago. Is that uh, there's a shield in Um, is that the, on the other difficulty in this level, I think there's, um, where you have to go get a key card from a guy down in that basement area where we got the big machine gun. That's the highest security sector. Dr. Yeah. Carl has and so I was thinking, oh, okay, I need to get a key card to get through this door. Holy 
crap. Um, so I was thinking we had to get a key card. I'm like, oh crap, I don't know what to do. But you just simply do the data uplink thing, and you click it on the uh, computer. Go. Gotta get Dr. Carol. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Actually, it's a little bit... Uh, a little bit better to play it without the, uh, the auto-aim. Just because, uh, you know, I don't have to worry about... You know, I can actually aim where I want to aim. I can still aim too, but you can you can zoom in with most of the weapons. I think all the weapons you can zoom in. Restricted. Oh shoot. Oh wow, that one went down with just one shot. Sweet. He's gotta be. There we go. Where are you, Dr. Carol? Dr. Carol? Dr. Carol, are you here? Well? Is it safe to come out? Yes, all clear. I'm a ventriloquist. Talking without my mouth moving. What? What? He's a computer? Very professionally done, my dear. But there's no time to waste. You must leave immediately. Come on! I have vital information. You must protect me. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up then. Thank you so much for checking this out. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. That would be awesome. Um, and uh, tomorrow I'll have another game in the Rare Replay. Uh, but thanks again for stopping by. And I will talk to you guys soon. And as always, keep on gaming. I may have to do another one.